eaten and now we're finally gonna get out at 1.13 p.m. to go see the fish market and Odaiba. So let's go. I love that it takes 10 people to move a car in Tokyo. Odaiba has a cool driverless train, which provides some really excellent views from the front. The new fish market is a few miles away from the old. It is much newer, cleaner, with a very sterile vibe, but it is less interesting to photograph and explore. We then went to the permanent exhibition of Team Lab's Borderless in Odaiba. We waited in line for about half an hour. We had pre-purchased tickets about a month in advance, which is good because they had sold out on this day. The exhibitions combined lights, graphics, and music for an amazing sensory experience. There's a cafe where you can have tea. A flower is then projected onto the teacup and if you ever move it, it disintegrates and a new one will grow wherever you've placed the teacup. installations are using cameras so if you touch the walls or move things they react to you. This room had an amazing light show that was constantly changing. It was filled with smoke and it gave off a real cyberpunk vibe. Also, this floating nest room where you lie down on a giant net that is suspended in midair and enjoy this light show. The lineup is long, so do it last. This was our favorite room in the museum, although we did miss the lantern room, so we'll go back next time. Quick tip is you can come back right at the end just before closing so you can walk through it with unobstructed views. food because we're starving. We made our way to Venus Fort, a Venetian themed mall, and I had just some food in the food court, which was delicious. After that, we headed to Diver City, another shopping mall nearby, where there's a giant Gundam that has recently gone up outside. The towering full-scale 19.7 meter Unicorn Gundam replaces the previous model, which was removed in March of 2017. The Gundam transforms four times a day at 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m., transforming from the unicorn mode to battle mode. We finished off the night with a visit to Gyoza Lu in Harajuku. It's incredibly efficient, affordable, and fast. There are some great appetizers including this bean sprouts 
with special meat sauce and cucumber with special miso sauce. They have this great gyoza machine in the center of the room that you can watch where they pan fry and boil the gyozas in the same machine so they get that amazing crispy edge. I had six chive and six regular gyozas. Just watch out as there are no vegetarian gyoza options. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.